Hey there, Cancer. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message. So take what fits and leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home for you, just try a different message. I'm going to do a Celtic cross spread for you guys with the Chakra Tarot. Let's see what comes through. For Cancer, please and thank you. What is the current energy? Queen of Coins and the Nine of Wands. Oh boy. Mama ain't happy, nobody happy. There is a scorned, if it's not a scorned woman, this is someone who is a perfect partner. And they are hurt. They are hurt right now. Someone burned them. could be you, this could be someone you know, this could be your person feeling pretty hurt right now or upset, seven of coins, something you did or something you didn't do maybe, could be the other way around, maybe this person hurt you, something they did or did not do. What is the foundation of this? Actually, let's do it like that. Sorry, my kitty is in the way. <laughs> Recent past for cancer. So far we have Capricorn energy. Two of swords did not see that coming. Had no idea. Hmm. That's some of the worst. I can't believe this. Somebody might even be embarrassed or ashamed. I can't even show my face in public now. This is like when your partner does something so embarrassing that you don't even know how to put that ring back on your finger. Some of you might have it on even when you take a shower all of the time and you're playing with it right now. Your partner sees the damage they did. They don't even know how to make it right. They don't have the slightest clue how to try and they know they can't undo what they did. doesn't really matter how much they do or do not hate themselves. This hurts. There's no getting around that. This is going to hurt for a long time. And hearing how could you do that to me? What's crowning? What's crowning for cancer? Please and thank you. A hair of thought. Guys, I, I have to say, with the Queen of Pentacles and the Hierophant and the Seven of Coins, this feels like a marriage that is two steps away from filing some papers. I feel like the feminine energy is about ready to exit the building. She's about had enough of this commitment, this connection. Maybe this is where our paths fork. And we go our separate ways. Temperance. It's going to take some time to heal for sure, for sure. I mean, there's no way around that. There, 
it's definitely going to take some time to heal, but I feel like whatever they did, there is really no coming back from that. And they're fully aware. They're going to do everything and anything to ease the awkwardness and the difficulty and the stress. But they can't undo it. Yeah, look at that. The Five of Swords. They already lied. They already betrayed. They already... I can't believe you'd do that. I just keep hearing it over and over. I can't believe you'd do that. And it's said in such a soft, quiet whisper that I can't even tell if it's a man or a woman's voice. Ten of want, yeah. It's just too much. It's too much burden for anyone to carry. You guys can try to work this out, but I do not see this situation being one that can be worked out. I don't see this as something that can be mended or fixed, looked past. Um, this is going to be a finale. This is, this is a 10. We went from the nine of wands, the initial what? How did you burn me? Wounded soldier to the 10. That's the end. It's just too much. This is where you choose to drop nine wands and you go back to one. And you've already chosen that one. The fears, worries, and concerns is the ten of wands. You never wanted this. For some of you, this could actually be one of your greatest fears. Was for this person to do this to you or for something like this to happen to you guys specifically, this relationship. Somebody really put everything into this and was so severely let down by their partner. It's almost like you're taking the love that you poured into their cup and you're pouring it back into your cup. Confirmation. Whatever you choose to do with it at that point is up to you. And this is also an angel. Temperance is angel, so. <laughs> Sorry. There will absolutely, absolutely be some poetic justice for this individual. What they did to you will be done to them. If it's not the exact same thing that they did to you that's being done to them, the amount of hurt that you felt, something will happen to them that will essentially, they are going to feel just as hurt, betrayed, bamboozled. They're going to feel what you felt one way or another. It might not be the same situation, but it will happen. There is, I am hearing poetic justice. Seven of swords in reverse. Yeah, so the divine is viewing this all. People around you are viewing you as... The Seven of Swords in Reverse, meaning whatever was being done behind your back, you know about it now. I also feel like you are not necessarily trying to hide from it, trying to run from it, trying to accept it. You're trying to just let it go. It's dangerous to hold on to this, and that's why it's in the reverse. Do you see how, let me, let me hold it in the upright so you can see what I'm talking about. How she's holding the swords is very dangerous. Very dangerous, but it's in the reverse because you're letting it go. You're not going to hold on to something that is this dangerous to your health, your well-being, your mental and physical and emotional self. You come first. here seven of wands putting your foot down seven 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 by the way and temperance is 16 which can be broke down into another seven so you could be seeing a lot of sevens they speak of overcoming obstacles and challenges you are going to get over this you are going to move past this it's going to take time and you're going to be angry and you have every right to be I would be too. 
I have been. But putting your foot down is the goal. Standing your ground is the goal. Boundaries. Even if you didn't say out loud that if they did this exact scenario, it was going to hurt you, you never needed to say it out loud. This is known information. Again, it's very obvious that they never should have done this. Everyone is going to agree on that. This person's going to have friends and family that don't even want to talk to them because, like, so disgusting. Hi, hey, little man. And then the potential outcome, wow, is the hermit. So going within and doing the soul searching, sorry guys, but going within and doing the soul searching, again, ghosting this energy because you don't need this, you don't deserve this. We had Virgo, Sagittarius, and Taurus, and Capricorn, bottom of the deck, yeah, is the Ace of Wands. You're going to be reborn as the phoenix that you are, Cancer. Let this fire make you stronger. You got this. I'm going to leave it right here. I hope this helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Until next time, stay beautiful.